Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Legend, where today we're looking to sort of solidify our foothold. Mostly what we're trying to do is just generate an empire that's capable of winning in literally any way. It, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter what, doesn't matter how, we just need sort of like strength in general. Probably strength in general is going to involve not having multiple cities at one population, but you know, one problem at a time. Um, so we have this settler. And I was thinking about moving across the ocean potentially because there is this this lovely like steel stalks near the river right up against the coast thing over here. And that is that is compelling. It is a very compelling settle for us, probably. But the more I look at the situation here, the more I think that in the longer term, we probably get a lot of value out of keeping blue weak. I mean, weak, you know, relative, weaker than they could otherwise be um, by making sure that they can't expand into this territory. And both the roving clans and the draken are hopefully unlikely to punish us for this. We've already got peace going with the draken and the roving clans can't declare war. They could privateer us real bad, but my hope is that we can we can basically make friends. You know, we're not taking up a huge amount of, of of land here, and then we maybe end up settling somewhere else across the ocean as well. But I, I think it's a good idea to take Rothkalor. Rothkalor has a, a luxury that we don't yet have. Um, it has a source of titanium. We don't currently even have mining tax because all of our um, all of our resource income has been from the fortresses so far. But that's a thing that can change. I, I think we want to settle over here. And if we are going to do that, um, there is an igloo larvae here. But I am honestly wondering if the best move is just... I guess there's not really... Like, here we could get three ocean tiles together. And that's, you know, that's something. Yeah, let's get over here. I think the, the plan is to take Rothkalor. We don't need to know exactly where right this second. Let's get over here and then we can we can work it out. And I think we've done everything else for this turn already. We could really use... Gosh, we moved into Era 2 without a lot of the important technologies because of... Because of the fact that we got a real weird... Um, we had a real weird set of free techs, so I think at this point it is probably the case that we're gonna we're gonna come back and scoop a lot of this stuff up. We probably need mining and yeah. All right. And our faction quest is just gonna roll forward. Hopefully, I think so. I really, really hope so. Okay, we did it. Huzzah. So we got some grass silk. We also got... Capture all the fortresses in Endigir and control the ocean for 10 turns. Okay, well, we do have Endigir already. Uh, am I just going to unlock your brain? I think so. We don't really have the units up there to deal with that. Okay. It's amazing what a combination of mind control and a little bit of influence can do for you. So we're going to bring these Gelderis down here and have them fight on our behalf to, to free this area. Uh, we'll come back to you in just a second. Let me do this thing next. Give them 12 glass steel. You know what? I'll do it. I am fine with that. Because uh, they had the fire ship already, and I'm not 100% sure that we could have beaten that fire ship without our boarding vessel getting messed up. And I don't know. We probably could have. But also, I don't think we need the 12 glass deal. Uh, so here we see the Alayi player. Now, I definitely want to merge these units up with the Vores. So I'm debating just sailing south from here. We've got a pretty solid um, array of 
fortresses at this point. I, I think I, I think I do want to do that. I think I do want to. Well, the eclipse is still running though. Maybe it'd be a good idea to get my hero on land. No, I think we can we can let this mastermind handle the the searching. Although, obviously, we have to be careful. Oh, hey, we found ourselves a neat crossbow. And 50 dust. And another 50 dust. Okay. What do we want to do with this mastermind? I guess since we want to be moving the... Um, we're going to be moving the Gelderis around to do combat. This mastermind should probably just be picking up pearls. We could probably get a search off on that Eclipse Temple as well. Uh, maybe. Probably is strong. Here, let's just search this. We'll 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 make we'll make moves, but not like as far as we can. This will give the the um the poor Vors time to catch up, and we're going to get back in our territory immediately so as not to be punished for our insolence. Oh, that's right. Submarines are not, they're not affected by the weather. We can just go right under all the seaweed. So, so what all do we have at this point? Titanium, Titan bones, dye adamantian, palladian, blood crystal, Grass Silk Adamantian, Glass Steel, Titanium, Palladian, Moonleaf, Science Stockpiles, Reduction in the Cost of our Naval Units, that's pretty cool, Wine and Glass Steel, more Titanium, more Titanium, more Glass Steel, more Grass Silk, and Food Stockpiles. Okay, so I mean, it's a, it's a pretty healthy group of incomes. Um, unfortunately, most of those luxuries are not going to come in fast enough for us to keep the boosters running consistently. <clears throat> but I mean, it's, it's certainly like we're not in a bad position here. So where do I want to put down? It's a shame you can't see the... Um, can't do this thing while you're in the water. So like if we put down here, 3, 10, 10, 10 is like fine. 6, 11, 9, 5. And then, you know, the 4 is obviously temporary. Like, I do think I like this. I like settling at the edge of the bay and then we can build out along the water. But obviously we can't do that this turn. So I guess we'll just get over here and wait for this thing to move. And probably, Ingoloth is on hard food focus. I don't know if that's appropriate. Like I do want to get the alchemy workshop done, but also, also we really are going to need more population if we're gonna if we're gonna do this right. Uh, yeah, get me an alchemy workshop. I mean, we're also gonna need. Like, a lot of science. So far, the most reliable internal victory has definitely been the science victory. And um, if you're going to push for... Like, the internal victory types are what? I, I, would, I would hesitate to even include diplomacy because you have to maintain relationships with so many players for that to work. It's only, it's only semi-internal, right? Get your science victory, your dust victory... And depending on your faction quest, maybe the quest and wonder victory. The dust victory, I feel like, is pretty dependent on you having a large number of cities because a significant portion of your total income comes from trade routes, like running lots and lots of trade routes, and also just the raw, you know, the raw dust from the higher level dust buildings. Um, I think that's less true of science. I think science is probably the most viable 
small empire internal victory unless you're sure you can nail your faction quest. <clears throat> and I mean, we're on a, we're, you know, we're on our way, science-wise. We have we have direction at least. Apologies if I seem a little distracted today. So I like the um, I like the Gelderis a lot as a minor faction. Uh, you can see very very poor defense, but super high damage, very very good attack. They're just like incredibly powerful uh, charging cavalry. Can't can't stand and fight, but can run over and murder. And then uh, on top of that, their assimilation bonus is plus plus five percent damage per village, which. I think is broadly better than attack or defense or, you know. So they're they're a strong a strong contender here. Um if we're about to pick up three um fine snake villages though. I can't remember what is the name of the f the faction instead of the unit. Erisis. If we're about to pick up three Erisis villages though, that's extra movement, which is maybe even more valuable. And the Aerosis unit will also be valuable to us, so. Do we have anything that we want to refire? I mean, actually, it is slightly more efficient here because we're only going to gain 2.2 gold over the next two turns, but it'll cost five extra gold to fire the booster if we wait. So let's just go ahead and refresh that. And then, yeah, let's put it down. Or do I want to grab this, <clears throat> grab the ruin, and then it's a little bit greedy, but it does get us this, this ruin search, which we won't be able to do otherwise. Yeah, all right. I'm okay with greed. And then we'll just have that keyed in, and that's that's easy enough to do at the beginning of the turn. Gosh. <clears throat> so much critical research that we are missing. I'm trying to move you to here. Here we go. Okay, we actually found stuff all three searches. And it was all dust, which is very cool. <clears throat> and then back in the water for fleeing. We are so slow. It is kind of wild how slow we are. We found a quest. Come back to the ruins of the naval unit. Give them a vessel to rebuild their expedition, and in return they will share some dyes with you. I mean, I'm not opposed to giving them one of the submersibles. We won't... Yeah, that's, that's, I think, a reasonable thing to do. Huh. Wait, didn't it say... Come back to the ruins with a naval unit. This is a naval unit. I would like to... Maybe, maybe it really does have to be exactly one naval unit? Could be. Well, this is another case where we would want to get this done so we can pop the die booster before we put the city down. So that's a thing to be cautious of for next turn, the way we the way we handle next turn. So I probably want to save. Um, I, I want to go change the order that I have queued up for that settler. Uh, let's grab five pearls and then just sail, 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 sail. Let's grab three more pearls and then, and then sail. Well, I mean, we could stop off for this one extra pearl, but then we're sailing. Yeah, okay, so let's change your orders. You still need to move here because we need to make sure you can get there. But aside from that, you're good. Okay. Yeah, we will, we will trade a single submersible if, if we are allowed. 
Maybe there's something weird going on with this beyond what I am understanding. So we sail out of position. Sail one boat back. Okay, yeah, you just you have to do it with exactly one. They're grateful and generous, but one of them pulls you aside. Go back, she says. Go back to dry land for the sake of Gaia. What do you know about Gaia? Come on now. Uh, yep, we do share common friends. That does indicate that we should never go to war with each other under any circumstances. You're right. What a brilliant, what a brilliant observation. So, perhaps not a huge surprise, but the Draken player going well out of their way to, uh, oh, I didn't actually hit the button, and then uh, my, my my settling got settled. Directly where I was going to settle, in fact. I mean, I reckon if I had hit the button, they still would have, they still would have settled the region. They would have just done it in a slightly different place and then moved the city over after we, uh, after we left. Well, that's not great. Okay, we are going to settle across the ocean then, I guess. Maybe, uh, well, we'll see. I don't love exposing myself to another player's potential anger. Like, obviously, I don't want to have to maintain a defensive force over here. We could try to take something further north on this continent. Probably not Gildren, but something something deeper so that the dragon won't get mad at us. Honestly, I don't think it's a bad idea. Alright, you lot get back to exploring. Aha, there are fortresses out here. Uh, give two boarding vessels to this fortress. I... Could do that, right? Because we have this boarding vessel, and then we have the other one that we got for free. That I did I use that one already? Somehow. Uh, it seems like I might have spent it already. I mean, obviously we could build another boarding vessel, but I could also just, you know, do the thing that I'm obviously going to do. So I'm not going to stress about it too much. Before I pick up sewer system, do I want to go? Let's get mercenary market second. I think I do want the sewer system pretty badly. Our research rate is going to increase relatively sharply here over the next few turns, so... So I'm going to actually bring these two back here. And I guess, actually, now that this is the case, we probably can use this settler to finish this minor faction quest really quickly. May as well, right? Okay, friendly villages. That should be pretty trivial. And Ingoloth could use the love. What's your deal? Turn to the listening post with a transport ship that contains a minimum of three minor faction units. Well, that's one that's going to be difficult for me to finish. How dare you? All right, just stay in the fog in the hopes of not getting jumped by the minor ship over there. We know pink yet? I don't think we I don't think we know anything about pink, but it sure does look like they probably have what it takes to capture this region by force. I'm gonna try not to stop at a ruin that is directly in front of them. With any naval unit and your turn on weather of four of the five types. Okay. That's doable. Yeah, we'll have this. I guess we're ending on fog right now. Can I make it to... Uh, 
don't really want to end my turn on lightning over here. Hold on. You're out of movement too, right? Yeah, so I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, inconvenient. Well, I'm not going to end my turn on lightning. So we'll pick up two types this turn. And we'll just have to do it again. Alright, I'm pretty sure we do have to build this at some point, so we may as well just go ahead and get it done with. Uh, and the game doesn't think we're going to win this battle. That's curious. Oh, I want to be careful how I position so I don't... So I don't eat too, too much damage from the circular attack. I guess there's no way I can fully avoid it. Just given the way our units have to be spaced. I could do this. But there's still, yeah, that leaves them the ability to do it on our militia. But obviously I care about that a lot less. All right, everybody focus. So, pretty solid hits. This is going to be a pretty good attack, though. Oh, no, chose not to take the good one. And definitely should not be trading blows with the, uh, with the Gelderus. Yeah, like, that's the way to do that. Alright, this region is properly secure. The wine has run out, and we won't be able to rerun it for a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. In fact... Well, it's not ideal. Uh, so the Nidya is plus initiative, which is obviously... Like, this, this is one that can be valuable, at least some of the time. But I think we're, we're much more likely to assimilate the Gelderus in this situation. Okay, let's hope that Pink doesn't actually take any of Rondaria until we until we have a chance to get a hold of it. I need I need a couple of turns here. Oh, cool. Who is the player who has 30 units in their army right now? It is the brown player, about whom we know nothing. Interesting. Interesting information. Uh, yeah, so over here we can end our turn on Turbulence. I would, ooh, I would love to do that. Yeah, over here we can end our turn on Turbulence safely. And then right here, we can end our turn on rain, because we did fog and... Oh, it didn't give us credit for the fog, because it wasn't real fog. It was, um... <coughs> Excuse me. It was, um... It was dust blizzards, which is not a... Not a weather type that is specific to the ocean. So... I mean, we can still do rain here. And that'll get us three. Oh, hey, look. This this looks like it might be a nice island nation. Yeah, we might be able to... There's a wine deposit and a dye deposit. This might be a good settle for us. Okay, well, there's no reason to do that anymore, so... I guess let's sail up there. I guess I have a mastermind up there, though. It's not like... This is not something that needs to be done with the mastermind. And we can probably turn the, the resource display off for a moment. I know people do not do not always love it when I leave that on. Uh, what am I going to have you do? I guess just, like, come over here and die, probably. I don't really need a couple of, like, low-level, non-scaling ice wargs around.
There's no um, there's no indicate that this unit doesn't want to move anymore for just this turn option easily available, which is a shame. Okay, so here, I think it makes sense to burrow. I think it makes sense to, to build to the ocean. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. And we're still building important stuff everywhere else. Okay. Yeah, I should bring this mastermind back. There's no reason to send this mastermind up there to explore when we already have one. We can, we can land this one on land easily enough. All right, please don't, please don't lose any of this stuff to pick. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this by force. Okay, a little bit of hostility out here. I accept. I think all of us being at peace probably is pretty good. Now, obviously, we're just going to keep our boarding vessel well outside of the battle. Um, this is actually a little. This is, this is one where we have to be a little bit careful because it would be really easy to take lightning damage here. One, two. I guess actually I need to be a little closer. Yeah, like this. Oops, I meant to put you on hold position. Okay, easy. And then all we have to do is have one of our ships end their turn in either fog or um, lightning. And we will be all set here. So the submersible can definitely do that. Does it make more sense to go nuts? No, I think it should be fine to go here. These are transport ships and I don't actually know what their deal is. I might just sink them. Yeah, let's just let's just be rid of them. I don't. I don't I don't know why they're here, but I don't trust it. Okay, nothing. And then we'll um, we'll wind around here and, and get on land and check this out a little bit. So you're going to come back over here because I need you to initiate the battle that's going to kill these Gelderis. You... I guess just come over here. So the bathosphere is exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, it's a little awkward to get back on the water here. I wish there was a river that ran um, a greater percentage of the height of this area. Also, I should keep this pinned so I know where we are. Okay, so we got control of Rondaria's two fortresses, but it turns out there's a third. We need to sort of put our uh, put our ships over here in the middle so that if Pink comes out and attacks one of our fortresses in the Cold War. Oh, interesting. They cold warred me despite the fact that we now have a better diplomatic situation than we had when they when they pressed for peace. That's a little it's a little concerning. And it probably tells us that we should get this text so that we can try to negotiate that back. It's a really inconvenient place for some uh for some seaweed to show up. They probably won't attack me, but I'm not going to go adjacent to them anyway. So I think the move here is I am actually going to just... And you know what? 
We should do this closer to the capital garrison. I was going to spend all of their movement points and then release them. But there's no reason to give that battle to Anshan's garrison. So I'm feeling a little concerned. And I do think that maybe it makes sense to science focus here. Just to try to try to push to the peace tech as quickly as possible. I'm really, really nervous that we might um, that we might get attacked. Just kind of experiencing a lot of generalized anxiety, in fact. Gosh, I hope this is an easy quest. I hope it's give us 12 glass steel. I would love to do that. <laughs> okay. So you don't want to move any further. You are supposed to have moved your whole movement allotment. I'm not sure why you didn't. Okay. So we have a fair amount of dust, but unfortunately at this point, this much dust I'm sure is only going to be enough to get one here. It's not going to get us even close to a second. Ah, no, run away. I keyed in a, I keyed in a Z move there because, because bad job, me. Gain 17 additional strategic resource facilities from where we are now. That seems like a harsh call. And I wouldn't be able to include... Yeah, not yet. Okay, well, next turn. Yeah, next turn, next turn we'll be able to do that. Actually, don't sail all the way up there. Just get, get close and we'll figure it out. Okay, this has got to be close enough that we'd be able to include the city garrison, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to spend all their movements so they don't do anything unexpected. Pull the cat's paw. Feed them to the city. And as ever, you know, do your do your level best to... I guess I shouldn't move because, like, who knows what the situation's going to look like by the time I actually execute my bloodlust. Ooh, they're focusing. I don't like that. Okay, I think we got pretty lucky there. They rolled really badly on a couple of their damage rolls. Yeah, Cat's Paw Army is just like, they consume a huge amount of dust per turn. So it really is, if you do not need them, it is valuable to divest yourself. Obviously, it's also good to have a standing army, but, you know. We can't have everything, certainly not simultaneously. Okay, so we're going to stay science-focused for two more turns, because I want Diplomat's Mance as soon as possible. Gotta get it before the Draken decide to declare war on me. And it looks like this must be a... Um, this is a Dorgeshi region, which is actually very interesting. There's at least two villages. Dorgeshi would be a very good assimilate for us. Okay, it is safe to land on this tile. Oh, cool, they just spawned a whole... a whole full-size navy without spending any of the ships that are in their garrison. That is not, by the way... How that is supposed to work. Uh, okay, hey, the Draken have earned influence. Who is surprised? Okay. So, we are absolutely going to use our boarding vessel this time. Because we have to make sure that this artillery ship goes down quickly. Uh, 
uh, yeah, and then, like, do your best. Yeah, something like this. Yep, I figured we were only going to get one shot at that. Okay, but our hero should be able to kill the thing before it gets to act again, hopefully. And we did get their fire ship to stop on a lightning tile, which is it's worth something. Although I guess my units wasn't paying enough attention to what targeting we had. Okay, there we go. Could have been a lot worse. So what was it they wanted? Oh yeah, a thing that we absolutely cannot do. Okay, we must protect the injured Vor. This shouldn't be too hard, though. Yeah, I'll do something like this. And then I want you to move up, like, behind the wall of incoming subs. You stay put. You move to, like, here. Again, just trying to, like, bait as many of them as possible into the lightning. Not that we necessarily need to, even. I did not give the Vor hold position orders, so it sailed into lightning for no reason. <sighs> My units want to die. That's like, that's the real thing. Oh, cool. And this, this was a lightning tile. It just didn't look like one. So that Vor is actually in... Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh. it has one point of movement left and I can garrison it. Can I do the same with this one? I totally can. Okay, well I will. The hero is the only one who will eat that damage. So that feels pretty unlikely at this point in the game. Well, we'll figure it out. Get as much vision as we can from the sea here. Okay, earth spines. That's pretty cool. Even more titanium. Also cool. I guess your job is to just like live near. It probably makes sense to be near Ingoloth. I think from Ingoloth we can access the most stuff quickly. Because it's got the river that can get us toward Anshan and it's got the coast. And just like wait for winter and go, go grab pearls. Oh, you know, I do have the... I can I can be buying heroes right now. Uh, so, and on the Seer, totally, uh, totally acceptable. A follow Tegret is... Yeah, that's right. That's a, that's a fighty hero. So really, it's just like Ardbad, Bo's Valhalla, and, and on the Seer. And I think they're both compelling in their own ways. Uh, Andom is level 2, and he has an open skill point. I'm going to take Andom. Just like general competence. Let's go ahead and drop that in. And you know, they both have a plus 45% science skill, so... I am not confident that in the end, a an ardent mage is actually better at pushing the science victory than a cultist is. It, it, might, it may well not be the case. Okay. So, we have a lot of influence to work with. My hope is that we can make a peace deal this turn and still get a reasonable empire plan next turn. And then in the near future sometime, you know, um... A fourth settlement. Is that a settler? No, okay, it's an artillery ship. I mean, that's also... That's also a thing to be concerned about. Okay, cool. It is a three-village island. That's wonderful news. Uh, 
Uh, and I mean, obviously, I just I want to bounce the vores here and merge back up. Is that the, uh, yep, that ended. That, you know, that could have lasted another turn. That would have been pretty okay by me. So we picked up spices, lots of glass steel. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, good stuff, for sure. And we have enough fortresses with facilities that are not yet revealed that we will probably have Hyperium and Mithrite facilities, like, pretty much immediately. Uh, which is good. It gives us gives us some good, some good reach on some stuff. Um, are we close to stockpile tech? We are not. There's no reason to hold on to this. Hmm. If I commit everybody to industry, 18 turns is like, that's a lot. So we don't have trade routes running yet. Are any of our cities within 10 approval of a boost? Yeah, so firing firing this probably makes sense. One of our cities will jump a happiness level from it. That's that's valuable. Um So I think we want open pit mine and alchemist furnace pretty badly. And I kind of want to I kind of want to go for this. I, maybe that's a bad idea. Oh, that's right. The reason I went to this initially was to see... Okay, nobody else has started it. 18 is a lot of turns. We'll have a birth in the middle of that. But if nobody else has started it yet, it could happen. And, I mean, obviously it's a powerful, like, it's a high-value building. There's no two ways about that. How do I want to build this city out? Do I want to try to build across like this to pick up all the moss pearls? Because, like, with the, with the dock going here, it is a little awkward... So if we put the dock here and we build up the river, we'll be building in these two ranks, which doesn't get us that moss pearl. I guess I could just... The dock doesn't necessarily have to be a good build. But this is this is a pretty strong expansion. I'm going to go for it. I th it would be really cool if we got it, right? Okay, and then we do, I think, need cargo docks. All of these cities can, at this point, I think, be safely refocused. Yeah, we don't need the open pit mine in one turn. All right, what is our influence situation? Obviously, we want this. I would like this as well. And I don't know that we need anything else. So we have a lot of influence to work with deal-wise. And I would love to get peace going again. Uh, see, that's going to annoy Brown, <laughs> but it is like a pretty, like in terms of both cost and how much it actually helps. Oh, we could just give him some glass steel, actually. Like, I know, I know we're going to need glass steel eventually, but there's going to come that point in the game where it's like, God, if I only, if only I had 47 more glass steel, think how easy your life, how much easier life would be. But I think we can do this. We'll maintain some mutual friendships. Hopefully they'll change their mind on the plan to attack me, which is almost certainly what motivated the uh, the bump down in the first place. And once we have um, once we have some docks established and we're actually doing ocean trade, hopefully we'll be economically valuable to them. We gotta we may have to trade them the dock tech. We'll see. We'll see that that's a thing that can potentially happen. So yeah. I definitely want to go speak to a village, and no matter how I do it, I can't make it happen next turn. That's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it in two.
I would really love to get a hold of Kalal as well if we can. Hera took a lot of damage from that lightning, like way more than I was expecting. And they're not healing very quickly. Okay, market ban, pretty, pretty harsh, pretty harsh stuff. Do I wanna, you know what? Maybe just for safety's sake, because we're still gonna have a ton of influence to work with. You know what, yeah, yeah, let's just grab more, more stuff for the sake of not getting ourselves into trouble. And then, do I wanna cat's paw you for the moment? I might. Yeah, a little bit of quick mind control might be a good idea. Search all the ruins in Indigir and Gadak. Have I done that? It's neighboring region Gadak. So this it must be talking about a land region. Uh and we don't Oh no no, Gadak is here. Okay, we have we have searched all the ruins in those regions, so presumably our faction quest will just keep rolling along without any real input from us, which would be super cool. Okay, let's do something like this. Yep, I think that's about right. And I'm just going to keep the subs nearby for defense and advanced scouting. At some point, we're going to get that Titan Bone booster off. That'll certainly help with the, um, with the building. I sure wish I wasn't banned from the market. Yeah, I'm just going to cat's paw you. We can actually cat's paw this army into the ocean and then have them fight garbage vessels. <laughs> that can be the way that we get rid of them. Okay, so much stuff is going on. We're generating so many notifications per turn on average. Okay, 20 additional grass silk. Triggered descent in three pacified villages. So that's a pretty expensive thing to do. And I think that, first of all, we need vision of the village, right? Yeah, I can't select it if we can't actually see it. Can I, am I allowed to dissent my own villages? I am. Feels somewhat counterproductive. Twenty one. I mean, here's a question that I'm, I'm realizing I don't know. Does the is the AI smart enough to recognize this as the Morgar player being aggressive? Mm, we're gonna hold off until we're just about to put down the other city before we hit the wine, then. Because they should be, and if they are, then obviously. We should be more careful about how we do this. Ten spices and ten titan bones? Man. I don't really want to do that. Do I not want to do it to the point where I will just bribe the village? It would deal with all three of the villages. Let me see something. Do you have titan bones? You don't. Oh, well, we can't trade them uh, Doc Tech anyway. They already have it. Looks like they must as well. Okay, cool. 
Out of curiosity, do you have any Titan Bones? You do, but only two. You would like peace. I might, I might just take that. That seems like a good idea. I'll be friends with everybody. I don't care. So if we're going to finish this building, it would be super nice to have the Titan Bones. But also, really kickstarting the hell of this village, I think it's worth it. Yeah, let's just pacify the whole thing. We'll, we'll deal. So now that you're here... Oh, somebody hit the next era, so our facilities have opened up. Now, now we can see everything. Uh, so we got a couple of red sangs. That's really nice. Some dust water. My fleets cannot be attacked by the sea monster, and also this facility produces quite a bit of dust. That's really cool. More dust water. More dust water, more red sang. Awesome. More dust water. The dust accumulator. That's going to be pretty significant. Minus 1% per fortress on other players. We have a lot of fortresses. Yeah, okay. There's some, there's some good stuff going on here. Uh, I am going to have... Yeah, we're going to do like this. I'm going to put all of you way back in the corner. Commit you to not participating in the battle. I should have moved my ships forward. What was I thinking? No, no, no. Everybody just stay back. Let the, let the Dargeshi handle it. I'm a little surprised that they were able to do it, honestly. Fine by me, though. That's, that's one down. So we should get control of this trivially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good stuff's, good stuff's coming. Good stuff's happening. Uh, and we'll do some ruin searching. It's a shame the eclipse just ended, but we'll be okay. So what do I want you to do for the moment? I'm going to have to cat's paw this next turn. We are still producing 71 influence thanks to our huge number of fortresses. So I guess what I want you to do is get me vision of a larger number of... Yeah. And we'll hope that other players don't take that as, as a hostile thing. Okay, sea monster has spawned, but as we know, it will not harm us due to how vile our tides are. It's going to get close to us and just be like, ugh, gross. Gross. Who could put up with such tides, I ask you? So what were these two quests? Did we have any intention of trying these? Not so much that one. This one I do actually want to do. Because the palliative prow is, is like a pretty good item. I mean, you could attack. Are you really gonna... Are you really gonna attack there? Why would you do... Okay. Whatever, it's fine. But, like, why would you do it that way? So, let's go ahead and descent this. This one will cost a little bit more because it's pacified and owned by another player. We won't even be able to do it next turn, but I'm not going to devote extra resources to it. We're not like in a huge hurry on our faction quest. It would be good to get it done, but it's not its not the most critical thing in the world. I do not think it is how we are winning. 
don't even know where I'm going to settle yet. We'll figure it out. Uh, so you probably can just stay right here. At least you can hang out in the water. That's That feels a little more natural. Alright, once again, I am going to play back a little bit and intentionally let them devour my uh, my first reinforcement vessel here. You're not allowed to just sell a cat's pot army, right? Like, it was certainly... Yeah, it's fine. This is fine. This is a fine way to do things, a fine and normal thing to do. Potentially slow roll this one more turn. Yeah, because I figured they would they would handle it this turn. Okay, cat's paw complete. Appreciate them doing that because it leaves me with an action point that I can use to claim this. Yep, that should be all this takes, I think. There you go, easy. So, firing two wine boosters is gonna take us a while. I suppose there's a question here as to whether it is actually worth it. Are we going to use the palliative prow? Or is it just the thing that I feel is like nice to have? Because the thing is, it does cost Hyperium to equip it. Which obviously I don't love. Yeah, I think we're probably just going to take the fortress. I just want to lock everything up. And I want to get that dust accumulator online. Okay. So we're getting our docks finished. Gosh, I sure do hope we actually pull off this, uh, this wonder. What is this? That is a Photios in the water. I mean, I'm gonna try to kill it. Assume it runs away. Nope. Okay, we just killed it. Somebody had a quest to deal with that thing, and I'm not letting them have it. should be approximately just the same deal as last time. Oh, this one has 82 health. Look out. I think the decision to go full Admiral has uh, has, has borne itself out pretty pretty seriously. Yeah, so the dust accumulator is making us 27 dust per turn without us having done anything at all, which is very fun. Uh, you should get down here and search this. Cool, 50 dust. All right, what do we want to do with you now? We probably want you to get over on the mainland over here and like look around a little bit more. You're good right where you are. We need another turn before we can... Oh, hey. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, this is right. That's in the state that I put it in. <laughs> okay, here's where we need to figure out what we're doing. So... It 
feels to me like I want to use the Earth Spine because the Earth Spine has the, the the approval on it. But there's certainly some value in just like tile that is surrounded by four ocean tiles. If we build right here. We'll get the um, we'll get the extractor on the wine instantly, which is very fun. And obviously the um, the resource payout's a little bit less exciting. Yeah, let's sail up that side of the island, I think. Uh, and we're getting close to that wine booster. I think we probably saved the food stockpile for the new city. And I'm going to grab... Gosh, there's still so much stuff that we need. We are going to want topography, obviously. Let's grab this first. <clears throat> we'll come back for the other stuff. Okay, the Alaya are at war with somebody. Not me, thankfully. <laughs> it's pretty much my entire concern at this point. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully the AI is not smart enough to understand that this is a thing that only the Morgar can do. Or, you know, maybe we can explain it to him. Well, listen, I just, my faction quest, you know how it is. Uh, that's a terrible deal. I did what? Oh, this thing happened while we were the, uh, <laughs> while we were at the top of our approval. Okay, cool. Benevolent Emperor. I am feeling pretty benevolent. I might prefer Empress, but, you know, can't have everything. Unless you're the Empress. What do I want to do with the with these ships? I actually don't know. So Pink got a hold of that region. It does feel like we're kind of finished with our ocean phase. And I mean, obviously, we need to have some some ocean stuff available to respond to trouble. So I guess just kind of get like. Maybe hang out in Central Zada and, and try to be ready to respond to whatever threats occur. Let's see if we can get vision of that village. I think I, we have enough. Yeah, we have enough sight to do that. So that's going to be another 200-ish. 175. Okay. Very doable. probably shouldn't build yeah we could wait a turn and then just build the a burrow on top of it and get the glass steel thing for free so why don't we spend our turn doing this all right let's get our new city established and then probably call the episode there we have quite a lot of pearls, too, and I didn't pay attention to what... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't pay attention to what's going on with the winter, so maybe we should have a quick look at that and see if it's worth any votes. But it turns out, no. No, it's not. Well, here's something useful for this for this baby to do. Let's, let's pearl collect. Okay, we can probably figure out our settlement from here next turn. You are definitely still going over to this other continent. Slowly, slowly. You should grab that. And then just stay nearby. Okay, the Draken have fire ships. It's important to keep an eye on who's got what, even if I don't necessarily fear them. Another thing that's important is to keep an eye on the Urkins that are bouncing around here because we actually have um, income of a lot of different luxury resources. So we could we could potentially actually win an Urkin over in that way. And it obviously would be very valuable to do so because Urkin. Because it's always valuable to do so. So that was the completion of that population point. 
And then like from here, I might even food focus for a minute just to try to get the city to six so we can start building the burrows that level things up. Uh, I really, really, really want your cargo docks to finish. You remain very slightly positive on food from the population point you just generated, which is cool. The Vile Tide facility is neat looking. Don't know that we've really um, examined that one up close before. So do I want to just put down here? Or do I want to do the... Let's, let's have a look at the numbers here. 3, 4, 11, 6 with the approval. Yeah, uh, it feels like this is right. We're going to grab this and then cut across. So it'll be it'll be two turns. I'm cool with that. Are y'all cool with that? Just kidding. Can't hear you. And that'll give us time to push through this um, stage of our faction quest as well, I believe. Welcome to Era 3. At, honestly, not a terrible, horrible timing. Okay, the cost of this went up. Because the era of our empire went up, which is a little bit of a bummer. Little bit of Palladian available. Blood Crystal and Titan Bones. That's cool. What's in the new region? Some Adamantian. Neat. Okay. I like that. I like this. I do not like the number of dragon fire ships that exist in the world. Not my favorite thing. Not hype on where this is going. You need to stay put because we need your vision. And you... Okay, Red just took control of those, so that's a shame. I'm not going to grab those pearls. I'm going to allow Brown to take those pearls. And actually, you know what? Even if I did grab the pearls, it is unlikely that Brown would notice. Plus 4.8 from fortresses. Wonderful. Wonderful, beautiful, wonderful stuff. We probably don't even need to fire the wine booster, honestly. Like, the other cities are going to be fine, even with the extra expansion disapproval. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just save it. We can, you know, we can trade it or whatever. So I think that means that we can just go ahead and queue the settle up here. Ingluff can build me a geomic lab. Also one of those, probably a good idea. Oh, right. I wouldn't have been able to vote on anything anyway, because I'd never built my, I never built my altar. Well, that's a thing we'll fix soon. More Titan Bones. Okay, one more turn here. So we probably do want to like push to Reaping Station right away and then go back for stuff. Or to Plow Factory, right? Yeah, Plow Factory is probably... You don't ordinarily go Plow Factory first because you need smelting stations up for some time to be able to afford to actually build the things, but it's not the case. Not for us. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Am I still reading his first place on this? I mean, you know. You know how this goes. If somebody else is going to take it from us, they'll, they'll be a real jerk about it and wait until it's almost finished and then snipe it at the last moment. So we have a lot of money, and negotiating an end to the market ban is almost certainly a valuable thing to do. Hooray! Uh, there are broken lords attacking Anshan. Oh no! I don't actually have units over there. That could be a problem. I mean, we could hire some. If I had access to the market. Well, we can we can do some negotiations on that front. Oh, the Ardent Mages are dead. Is that that's who Brown was at war with? Yup, so Brown's got a pretty large army now. 
Interesting that that's blue territory. Yeah, brown might be 100% um, terrifying. 100% the most terrifying. Here we are in How Weird. You know what else I should do? I should get fucking cultivation. <laughs> um, here. Cultivation, then public granary, then plow factory. That's right. I never did get because, you know, and then our population was growing fine. So I didn't even think about it. Uh, yeah, food boost for this city. It needs more population. It does not need to produce dust under basically any circumstances. Let's buy a sewer system so you go right up to right up to happy time. I'm gonna do some of this and some of that. And probably some cargo docks really early would actually be a, a very smart play. Not buy out a bull very early, but that's cool, that's fine. I am gonna rush a couple of the basic buildings. Just kind of get things get things tumbling. Okay. And then, like I'm saying, oh gee, that's like a real, a real force. Uh, shoot. You know what I can do though? I can unassign you, then make you an army on Anchan. Think you don't have any movement left? Oh, you okay? You have a fractional point, which is not enough to get you in the water from here, unfortunately. But if we do this, and then we start the next turn by mash clicking here, and we can get Iraku into the water to fight them while they are um, while they're transport ships. And obviously, the job that we will do at that uh, at that task is pretty spectacular. Dust, pretty good find. Twice it was a good find both times. Who are you, Red? You are. Wait, what architecture is this? Little huts. I don't actually know who this is. It's not forgotten, is it? I don't think so. Hmm. All right, so since it's so critically important, let's make sure this happens. We're gonna go ahead and, and run to the next turn here so that I can, so that we can actually get this committed because it's pretty important. If we end up having to actually fight them on land, it's going to be um, a little tricky. So it's going to be not ideal. Get in the water and attack. Okay. Damn. Friend. Ah, unwanted oxidation has begun. Uh, I'm going to talk to you in a second because I do want out of that. Donate a total of 40 palladian to receive a bunch of dust. Is there a ruin that is, or for this quest that is like, okay, somebody built a guardian. Sure, I don't care about that. Is there a ruin for this quest that is actually convenient to us? Ooh. I think I'm just gonna dump. We have enough Palladian to end the event immediately, and I think I really want the dust, so. And I don't think we need the Palladian all that badly. Huzzah! 500 dust and 60 glass steel. We did it. We did it. We saved everybody. Uh, Anchan finished building that and should start building. Oh, we should, um... We should actually assimilate our Dogeshi. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize this was still running. That's kind of wild. Um, Yeah. Might be a good idea to actually build some of these. So, let's go for... 
See, our nearest players are. We should probably we should probably be infantry slayer in case the dragon get a little froggy. Um, obviously, cavalry is the backbone of the roving clan's army, but if the roving clan's player attacks us, they won't be using their own units to do so, right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that design. How quickly can you produce those? Pretty quickly, even when fully devoted to... Yeah, let's let's make sure we have some crown forces here. Okay, so that we can dismiss. Ingulath needs to be building things. Call it Thingulath. Um, you know what? Just a little, just a little bit of an army, just just enough to enough to make some noise if we, if noise needs to be made. So we could rush these out. I do want to get um, market freedom here. Uh, I don't. This is not like a very interesting battle, but I guess we should manual it. So there. Hero's ship will be slightly more powerful, but we probably want to intentionally ignore it because we won't do enough damage to kill it in one hit. But we can we can one shot a ship every turn aside from that, and I think that's I think it behooves us to do so. So we're just we're gonna take a little bit of a, a little bit of fire here, but we have really good stats that they don't. Truly, this winter they have felt the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. I'm really surprised they didn't just retreat on that. Huzzah! 160 dust. Uh, collect 102 total dust from all exploited tiles within your empire. We are currently at 73. Um, is, it, is that calculation including the winter penalty? Because if it is, then we will probably automatically complete that quest as soon as winter ends, right? That seems pretty valuable. Uh, and now the question. Counter proposal. I do want to get out of the market ban. Okay, you don't want any of this stuff. But you would take... I mean, they want... They'll do it for glass deal, but they want to pretty huge amount of this stuff. It's probably fine. Give up my grass silk, which is also like, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Market ban removal means we can buy heroes again, and we should probably do so quickly. Um, you know, a necrophage with the necrophage governing capacity would be really good for us. We're being offered very little in, in the way of useful heroes here. Uh, Argbad Bose Falhalla isn't even around anymore. Hey, what are you what are your governing capacities again? So plus science. That, that one's unlikely to actually have much benefit. Plus 60%. Science on the city, but only during the winter. Yeah, not so exciting. Dabua of Fosu is the good Forgotten Governor, but like, you know, only good relative to Forgotten Governors. Food Boost 1, Masargaka also a food efficiency 1, even worse. Yeah, rough. Um, I mean, okay, so we could be hiring, maybe the play here is we hire a ground commander. Like, honestly, this would not be terrible. It's got a ton of skill points already. We're hiring a ground commander, and then in doing so, we, you know, cause another person to show up on the market. I think I like it, actually. Army attack boost 2 is is useful. Infantry slayer, I mean, because, yeah, he's a sword unit. And, like, you have good combat stats. I think I am going to do this. I'll be the commander of our, um, our cavalry regiment. 
And for right now, I guess there's no reason not to just like stick him on a unit somewhere. And it'll be good again. It'll as always. It'll be good to have a unit that is, or it'll be good to have a little bit more military strength on the table, just so that the number on the chart looks higher. Yeah, that seems that seems wise. Wise enough, anyway. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be all that wise. Okay. This is somewhat likely to occur. Just free stuff. I don't know if y'all know how I feel about the free stuff. Uh, it is positively. <laughs> uh, should we? We should get closer. Okay, it is forgotten. That is, in fact, forgotten architecture. And then... We've seen the pink player's stuff a couple of times. We've not actually seen anything that's indicative of anything. We don't, we don't know anything about them. We could just get adjacent to their ships. If we just sail past, they'll, they'll gain vision of us and that'll cause us to meet. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I feel like we have a pretty strong position here. Titan Bones are like basically the only thing I don't want that Urken to want. This, this mastermind could be earning us an Urken if it was if it was after basically anything else. So we don't see the new hero show up on the market until next turn, right? Yeah, okay. I mean I I know. Even as I say it, I know. Like, it can't hurt to just, like, start the next turn. <laughs> and this winter might actually end any moment now. Looks like it's going to be a pretty short one. Any district of Anchan, I guess that I mean that'll happen probably eventually. Yep, grass silk runs out. I knew that was gonna happen, and I'm fine with it just being out for a little while. It's gonna take us a couple of turns to build up. Ooh, we absolutely fire the red seg immediately though. That's very exciting. And new hero. Who is the new hero? I think you're the new hero. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's not terribly exciting. So, food boost two. Yeah, you really don't have, like, all you have is zealous hands and a pretty smooth connection to inspirational leader. Not really a very good governor. We would probably be better off taking Jay Awardine. Ugh, Jay Awardine with a misspent skill point, unfortunately. Hmm. We really um we caught some some bad luck here, governing wise. Well, I suppose it's a decision we can make later. Six turns on this, and we are still reporting first on it. I mean, in theory, it would have taken the other players some time to build up to twenty-five of each of the uh, each of the things. We almost certainly got started way before anybody else had a chance to, but it also is almost certainly the case that other players have some, uh, have some speed they can apply. Uh, we are at 22 quests completed already, actually. That sadly only puts us in second. So as soon as, as soon as this era opens up, this is probably going to go to somebody. That's fine. It's, it's only okay. Uh, city with 30 population. Yeah, we're not, that's not happening. Our capital's population has, has, I think, not changed at all over the course of the episode, but we've gained a lot of population in total. Wild Walkers. Okay. The Arm of Geos. Interesting. I am not familiar with this. This might be the first time I've ever seen this. 
And also, I am well aware that literally every time I say a thing like that, somebody um, in the comments points out, no, this, in fact, you've seen that before. And this is the exact, you know, this is the episode and this is the minute when it happened. And... Oh, please, Skyfin, please just don't be in Indortara in a couple of turns. I got to get away from Indortara so that I don't bait the Skyfin in here to attack me. Okay. I think that is actually, actually, actually where we're going to stop for today. Um, you know, it was a little, this little bit of bonus episode because stuff's been rough lately um, and continues to be. Uh, when you come back next time on Monday, hopefully we'll have some, hopefully our level of success will continue at anywhere near this rate. Things are going so well that I'm actually like incredibly nervous about what the turnaround is going to be like. Um, but fingers crossed we'll have enough influence to talk whoever it is out of murdering us. Because I mean, that's what the turn's going to be, right? Anyway, we'll see you then. <laughs>